And welcome to the good news of a life without fear. I'm Bob Fowler. What an honor, privilege, and joy it is for me to be here with you today on this beautiful Friday. Hey, as I say every Friday, you made it. Maybe when you began this week, it looked like it was an uphill climb all the way. But hey, you made it on the other side. And I pray that as you look back, you can see the faithfulness, the provision, and the blessing of God for your life. I pray you stay tuned with me for the next few moments. I'm not going to keep you long. I want to talk about something that I believe is extremely important for all of us to take note and notice on and that we should give our attention to. And that is the thought of little things. So often we think about the big picture. So often we think about the vision, the dream, the end game, the end goal. But have you ever stopped and thought that in order to achieve a journey, reach the end to the destination, it's going to require little steps. And oftentimes we fail to take notice of the importance of the little things. Ah, it's the big things. No, it's the little things. It reminds me of the story I heard years and years ago of the man who worked so many hours. He was away from his wife much of the week and his heart was to do something good. But yet, as we like to say, everything cost something. And he spent so many hours culminating in days and weeks, months, and even years away from his wife. And they were about to celebrate a large anniversary. I believe it was like the 25th anniversary. And he decided that he was going to do something really big and grandiose for his wife. He remembered that there was a certain vehicle that she always wanted to have. And so on the day of their anniversary, he purchased this large ticket item, had it put in their driveway with a big bow on top of it. He went inside all excited. He brings her out with her eyes closed and she opened her eyes, saw the vehicle and rather than being in a celebratory mood, she began to cry. And he was puzzled. He looked at her and he said, what's wrong? And she looked at him and she said, all I wanted was you to tell me that you loved me and to spend some time with me. Now, in comparison to what he purchased to him, that was something little and maybe even paled in comparison to the cost in purchasing that vehicle. See, he was focused on the big thing. She wanted and put importance upon the little thing. And so today I want to I want to draw your attention not from the big thing, the dream, the destination, the end goal, but what about give me this day my daily bread. You see, that may be a little thing. God, I don't want what you have for me today. I don't want to see the little thing that you have for me today. God, I want you, I don't want to learn the lesson of patience and grow and mature and develop in grace today. God, can't we fast forward to the big thing? And without the little things and the importance and understanding the importance of the little things, we will never, listen, we will never achieve that big dream or that big destination. You see, in light of where you know God wants to take you, where you are may seem like a frustration, but yet God has you where you are. He has you in the season that you're in, the place that you're in, the moment that you're in, going through the experiences that you're going through today, and they serve a purpose to the end game as far as the goal, the dream, and the destination that God has for you. See, we'd like to hit the fast forward button and go through all the little tedious moments and tedious experiences and, and things that, that build up and the stepping stones that ultimately culminate into the dream or the destination. But God wants us to focus 
on the little things, those small little areas that he has for you today to trust him in, to believe him in, to persevere in, to endure, and to lean into him and say, God, no matter what, I'm going to keep my focus. See, we want to get to the end of the race, but the steps of a good man and woman are ordered by the Lord. The little things often make the biggest difference. And I want to give you a little another illustration that really where this message, and I've shared with you before, that uh, oftentimes God, for me, and I know for most, if not all ministers, messages come out of the most peculiar places. I woke up last night or this morning around 3.30, and I'm laying there, and everything's quiet. Everyone in the house is asleep, and I couldn't get back to sleep, and I hear this little click, and then maybe 20, 30 minutes later, I hear another click, and maybe 5 or 10, 15 minutes later, I hear this other click, and I knew what the click was. The click was the thermostat on my air conditioner, and I began to think, here outside, we have a large air condition unit. Inside, in a closet, we have a large air condition air handler that controls the airflow in the house. But where was that little click coming from? It was coming from the little thermostat on the wall. Not very big. You could walk by it and miss it. Not even attribute the importance of that little box on the wall, the thermostat, in controlling the outside unit as well as the inside unit. You see, in comparison, it's a very small thing. It could often be confused as being insignificant. But did you know that without that thermostat, your air condition will not work? If it's the winter months, if without that thermostat, your heater will not work. How important is that little thing? You know, I've had it takes a battery in that thermostat. Do you know that when that battery runs low and runs out, do you know it will shut down the outside unit, the inside unit, until I change that little battery in that little thermostat? You see, the importance of little things can make a big difference. And so today I want to encourage you, rather than focusing on the big things, maybe in fixing a problem, you know, it's interesting when that little battery in that thermostat runs down, I don't call the air conditioner repair person. No, I just take a new battery and I put it in that little thermostat and then I close it and put the cover back on it, and it works as good as new. Could it be that the problems that you're experiencing would only require a small change, maybe in your attitude, your perspective, how you see things, how you receive things, how you react to things? You see, oftentimes, the biggest differences are made in the most minor adjustments. And today I want to encourage you, examine a situation before you react. Don't overreact. Don't, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Don't take something that's small, that's fixable, that's workable, that's understandable, and blow it out of proportion. The importance of little things and those small little micro adjustments can make huge differences and pay big dividends in the end. I want to encourage you, before you overreact, ask God, ask the Holy Spirit to help you to see things through the perspective and the lens that God wants you to. And it's there that you will discover wisdom beyond your own and experience beyond your own. Hey, God is able today to do exceeding abundantly above all that you'd ever ask or think according to the power that is at work within you. Let's not overreact today, no matter what we face or we see or we go through, but let's allow God to 
turn those things into a blessing into our life. Well, as I said at the beginning, it is Friday, and tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm excited because tonight is Friday, and it's going to be a great time together on Friday Night Alive. Tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we'll be right back here live. And I want to encourage you, send in your questions, send in your comments, send in your prayer requests and your praise reports. Join me live tonight, and we're going to have a great time together. Well, that's all for today, and I pray that you make the rest of your day the best of your day. And until tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, always remember, I love you, God loves you. And most importantly, remember, he is faithful.